You're just doing that to. I'm telling you, I've literally with always had coffee and water. Literally for like over a year. <laughs> I've always had a coffee and a water. The little you pay attention. I like her butt. Who? You want to clarify that for everybody? Uh, your mom's. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Old and saggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions in some form. I'm Rick. <laughs> follow us on Instagram, Instagram. Twitter, or Juice Snapchat. Yeah. Thanks to some Patreon followers to the guy with the most views. Bang! Follow us on Percy Chat. Link in the description she, below. She should start her own channel and mm -hmm. call it call it our old and saggy reactions. <laughs> It'd probably get a bunch of views. It would. It'd probably get a bunch of views. It'd be great. Uh, today we're doing a movie review, everyone. Oh crap! Man. I know. I know. I forgot to I tell you. I was waiting to see what we we're gonna react. Just to. catch up. Mustard. Yes. Just like I, I, I'll say stuff, and then you can just, uh, you know. All right. Cool. Either like I'll good just cop, nod, bad cop, nod, whatever. I, good cop, bad cop. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are watching the 2018 film October, which even though it's June, it is June, and we reacted to this thing like a year ago, a long time ago, long, long time ago. I know it's a a, a very popular like, um, not like a mass film. But like I know a lot of people really really like this film, and so I, I remember getting a bunch of messages about it. How people, it was a very different film for um, Indian cinema, yeah, uh, as well. But anyways, uh, so it's 100 Prince Wars. We came out in 2018. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, we saw it. What did we see it? Netflix? Was it Netflix or was it Amazon? It was one Amazon. Of, was it Amazon? It was Amazon. It was okay. Amazon. Uh, yeah, it's on uh, Amazon. Directed by uh, Shujit Sarkar. Who directed Pink and Piku. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and Vicky Donner. Yeah, which we haven't, we haven't seen, seen yet. But we've uh, seen those other ones. And then obviously starring... Um, Say his name. Varun Dhawan and Benita Sandhu, which I understand this was their debut performance. This for was, both of them. Now, I could be wrong. I don't I think do my for, homework. Because we've done... Him, no. His is Kapoor and Sons, right? We saw him there, Well, right? that's where we saw him. But as far as his very first film... This was it? I, I I I thought it was like his, on, as check. a lead because there's assistant director. So it's not his first, but I, maybe it's his first lead. I don't okay. know, uh, but it's definitely not his first. All right. Uh, Where did I see it that said that? I think it was on Wikipedia, which of course everything there is true. Okay, and also, am I incorrect? This is not the same guy from Kapoor and Sons. Oh, it's not. You, I look, was with you. I that guy looks similar. Uh, at least IMDb is not saying. I know he's in Bad Leper, which is uh, with Nawaz as well. Uh, I know a lot of people enjoyed that one. We haven't seen that one yet. Uh, but yes, uh, starring those two, directed by uh, Surjit. Surjit, right? Is his name? I believe so. I believe that's the proper Did pronunciation. I forget. Surjit. Um, let me see the spelling again so we pronounce it right. Sanjit? Shujit. 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 Anyways. Shujit, Shujit Sirkar. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, I, it's a mixed bag for me that ultimately lands on there was less that I liked than I liked. Mm -hmm. um, I think the best thing about the film was the concept, the story, and the fact that it is, it is different. Mm -hmm. um, but there were aspects of it that are admittedly... Some of it is purely subjective on my part of what I particularly wanted, mm -hmm. which is not their fault. They're not supposed to, you know, they don't yeah. have to make their film with me in mind. Yeah. But for me, kind of what I was anticipating and expecting based on what the trailer showed me. Uh -huh. And then some other aspects of the script that really troubled me. That's probably my biggest thing. The bright side of this was, I think that I would... The story, I think, is absolutely fantastic and has the capacity to be incredible... There were some cinematography things that were just straight out beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately for me, if someone were to say, should I watch October? My, my take on it would be, you might like it. I, I, there was more I disliked about it than liked. That's, mm. my, that's my takeaway. Okay, and we'll get into that. I actually enjoyed this film because it was very different. Um, there, was, I, I, there was a bunch of stuff that going through it. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. Why is this happening? Right. Um, and then it, 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 it surprised me in multiple aspects. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of, I don't know if you want to call them philosophical messages in, in the whole thing about yeah. like a loss, death. Um, existential crises mm -hmm. uh, and, and how obviously very different this situation would be if it was in an, like an American situation as oh, yeah. opposed to Indian 
as well. So I actually quite enjoyed this film. Uh, I, I enjoyed uh, the, uh, the performances. It, him, he was very, very subtle. Um, and I've, I've been told like this is like his best that he's ever done in terms of, not like he was like a Nawaz or anything, but I thought he did a, a, a good job. Her, for, I mean, for the little bit you got to see of her, that was, yeah. um, that um, she wasn't just in the coma state. Yeah. Uh, even though that's, that can be done wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a no, coma can, can be, be done wrong. It can uh, be. Like you, like people, like you see them moving when they're supposed to be in a, well, a, a vegetable state. I noticed something kind of as simple as, and it, it may have been her choice, it may have been the director, but something as simple as the fact that when they were, uh, when the camera was on her eyes, uh, she was ensuring that she wasn't moving her eyes behind her eyelids. Mm. You know, that something that simple, uh, it does. It, it's not nearly as difficult as, say, my left foot, mm. that kind of a oh, challenge, no, no. or like what uh, Kalki had to do in Margarita no. with a Straw. No. It doesn't even remotely come close to that, but no. it is still it is still very a challenging thing to yeah, do. Yeah, no, it, it's 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 not. Um, I'm not saying it's like hard, but it's also like you can't just throw it out. Like she's no. just she's just having to sit there. No, she's still having to show stuff with her eyes and making sure. She, she doesn't look like she's aware right. when she's actually an aware person. Right, right, right. Uh, and so I, I thought she did well. I enjoyed the direction. Uh, and the fact that it just, there was so many moments that just kind of caught me off guard that, um, and it ended, um, I don't want to say differently than I thought it would, but it, um, I, I didn't expect, I was expecting the happier ending. Oh, really? Yeah, I was. Oh, I was expecting her to die. I liked that. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> but I, I, I expected from the get-go, I'm like, uh, from the early part of the film, I'm like, yeah, they're going to break well, our heart. It's only because I thought that, you know, since we've seen a bunch of Indian cinema, that a bunch of it likes to end on the happy note. Yeah. And so, and we've seen, I, I forget which film it was, but like, where they get miraculously healed by, uh, what was it, that, that film... What was what was that film? With the miraculous, with like, a miraculous healing. Yeah, what was it? Something. Oh well, like a light. Can't, I can't remember what well, it was. Pedosin had a miraculous healing, but he was never oh. really dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, so I, this director, I feel Sujit, uh, likes to do unique stories, um, especially for Indian cinema, with Piku, which is even though I mean I guess they're simple but unique. Because mm -hmm. Piku is just, yeah, it's, that's just a, a, almost a road trip with family drama. Yeah, and P Piku for me is is a toweringly better. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. not comparing the films yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But um, that pink, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, same thing. Yeah. Um, but and I would agree. Those I think those are better films, but I don't think it took anything away from this film uh, for me uh, in that aspect. So the, the two the two biggest things for me that were. Uh, my the things I liked least and really didn't allow me to get into the film. The first one was I didn't like him. Okay. I I felt like he was. Um, well, I don't think you were supposed to like his character. Well, that's fine, but I like I so didn't like him mm -hmm. that like I, I didn't care. Gotcha. And I was and I thought to myself I have no vested interest to root for this guy. This guy deserves to be fired. This guy's selfish, mm -hmm. um, and I think he is rude, yeah. and he in, he endangered a child. Yeah. So it was really hard for me to have any level of either empathy or sympathy for the character when I was like, why are they even keeping you on board here? And then when he kept fixating on why she was asking for me, I like that idea in the story, but for the character traits that I saw in him, uh -huh. it just seemed definitively narcissistic in his part to just be, everything he seemed to do was, was more for him. What I was expecting from the trailer was a genuine caring for the girl. And I, I saw that, but I never cared for him. Yes. And I, I think maybe if it had been, I kept longing for like, I wonder if someone like a Raj Kumar Rao would have engendered something in it or Irfan would have, a likability mm. in, into a character that's written in such a way that just, like he just, every turn, I was like, yeah, you're, why are you doing that? You obviously, every, everybody has to work a job they don't like. So shut up and do your job. Show up on time. <laughs> if you're not getting time off from work, don't lie just so mm. you can go do what you want. So consistently that. And then yeah. I felt, I, 
my favorite thing about the movie is the ultimate the ultimate message of the film and in particular like her name and what that means and the jasmine night flowers but the way it ended it just kind of spoon fed the message to the degree when he even said and so she fell like they fell i i like put my head in my hand and went we you don't need that we get it I, that line in and of itself for me didn't need to be said mm. um and so it felt I just, it, I never connected yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, and I actually think that was the point of his character. I, I agree. He, he was a douchebag, thousand percent. He was a hundred percent a douchebag, and I think that was almost as opposed to the normal story. That I, that's one of the things I think I enjoyed about it is that it wasn't a normal like this was my boyfriend, this is my girlfriend. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to spend time with her and yeah, take I, care I, of her. That's it, definitely it, different. It was almost about his existential crisis going on that that he um was dealing with inside of him and how he he was dealing with tragedy or death i guess mm -hmm. and how others dealt with it obviously he's a douchebag right and um i think they led on even though they they wasn't specifically said i think those two um cared for each other more than they let on because they, okay. they gave some hints of that yeah in, yeah, in yeah. The beginning. a little bit uh and obviously they weren't dating i don't think they no 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 uh, i was waiting i thought for a while i was like oh they're gonna show that they had a secret relationship yeah. or whatever they, that never happened yeah um but um i think that they 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 care for each other more than they thought and when <laughs> and so when when he found out that she fell obviously he was trying i was probably the first person that had ever almost died, I guess, in his life or something like that. Um, but then when it happened that he asked for, she asked for Dan in the end, he almost felt like this guilt. And I do think it was some narcissisticness mm -hmm. as well. I totally think, cause that's, that's who this character was. Yeah. He was a nar narcissistic, like douche mm -hmm. uh, for most of the film. And I think he kind of used this as um, a chance to kind of either make up for that. And he also felt bad that that family didn't have anybody there to really help, like a father, to help out with uh, what was going on. I can see some of your, I, I totally get it, because I was trying to figure out almost the entire film. Why do you, why do you care so much? You're not, you're not, you're not her girl, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You're not family. And that's one of the things I was talking about with how different it is from American. If a random person who's not a boyfriend or anything, even if it was a sure. boyfriend was like butting in on family conversation. Right. That would not go over well here. Right. <laughs> you just don't butt in on family conversations. Right. It's, if you're not part of the family. Right. It just doesn't, even if you're, even if you're part of the family, like a cousin, that's even stretching it here. Mm -hmm. And I know that's different, obviously, in India. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> almost anybody has like they have such big families and they kind of um uh kind of uh, take others into the family and i think the mom even said that she was like i was i was being selfish for letting you letting you do this and mm -hmm. go as far as you did mm -hmm. um and so i think he was dealing with some some stuff in his own personal life especially when he he talked to who was her best friend mm -hmm. and how he was uh, at that time, I think grown to actually start caring for her in terms of making like, she's still a person and alive mm -hmm. as opposed to just writing her off as she's right. dead. Right. Which is a whole nother conversation in and of itself. And uh, one of the sad things that we here in America have to deal with of like going into debt or, you know, making sure a loved one stays Oh yeah, living. what it costs you to, yeah. to just have, as opposed to just caring about that person, and right. you don't have to worry about the cost like a bunch of the other world deals with. <laughs> yeah, both as a both as a family member and as a patient, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of patients who are dealing with something that's going to cost millions of dollars to treat. Yep, and in their mind, it's like millions of dollars to treat this. I mean, this happened. To, this is Walter White's story. Yeah, of I, I two things. I want my quality of life. Math. Yeah, yeah, I want my quality of life to be a certain way, but also. I don't want to leave my family with a lifetime of debt and me not here. Yep. Um, and so you could see that that side of the uncle, uh, his argument. Right. But it's still like, you know, you can't like just blow off a, a person like they're not a person correct, still. Correct. And that's the person you talk to. That's their daughter. There's right. no way they're just like, yeah, 
I'm gonna pull the plug no. on my daughter. Of course, that would that doesn't you don't do that. <laughs> and I and I, I get why you didn't you, you didn't like it. You, yeah, you, the trailer a douchebag. The trailer the trailer gave the impression per se, and it's fine. Not not all films have to do. In fact, it's nice sometimes when a, a film is different than the trailer. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of anticipating there to be a story where we watch. I thought, based on their kind of distance, mm -hmm. that what was going to happen was he was going to fall in love with her while this was happening, and she would fall in love with him, and then she'd probably die in the end. But what we would see is that aspect, the very clear relationship. And when it didn't go there, when we were three quarters of the way through the film and she's pretty much still in her coma or just starting to come out of it, and the focus was on him, the other thing I was expecting was, okay, if we're focusing so much on this guy, why are we being, at best, really, really subtle in him learning life lessons through her and, and sh her not knowing it? If that had been more accentuated, if we had seen a character arc for him where he went from being this guy that was very selfish and was very rude and wasn't fulfilling his responsibilities, and then she somehow, through this experience, became the person that, even in a coma, taught him some of the biggest lessons in life, that seemed to be way down here. If it had been mo more... Overt I, I in actually, the storytelling, I would have. I actually that. liked the subtleness of it. I think because I, and I, I do agree with that. Like the the one line is like the the Jasmine line that was yeah, a little, that, that that was a little heavy handed. I do agree with that one. But I I enjoy it because it's so different than what you normally get. You don't normally get the very subtle. You figure out mostly outside of a couple of lines like that that uh, were you know. On the nose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you do, though. That's where I don't want to let it off the hook that easily because even Piku, which is his film, has far more subtlety in it than being heavy-handed. And talk about subtle. Lunchbox is the king mm. of, of giving profound messages by saying nothing. Example. She didn't need to say anything when she was going through the laundry and you see her smell the shirt. She didn't need to smell the shirt and then walk to the window and say, Auntie, the shirt smells like a woman. We didn't need that. Mm. Yeah, so the subtleties are in the films that we've seen. I, so I just, I don't... I think it was subtle for the most part outside of a few instances. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not comparing it to his other films. I do agree Pink and Biku are better films, but that didn't really keep me from enjoying this film. Uh, and I, I would personally, like, say, if somebody was like, should I watch October? I would say yes uh, in terms of just, is it a quality film? I do think it's a quality film. Um, but in ter like, do, if, would they, if they were like, should I watch Piku or Pink or, or, or this? I would definitely say watch Pink and watch, watch Piku, of course, first. <laughs> I mean, I think, I don't know who wouldn't say that. Yeah. But, um, I, 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 I still appreciated the film. Um, and I, I, I think you got some of that growth with him. It was just, it was very subtle. There was, there was just no almost romance in it. No, um, which is fine. No, and there was also believability aspects. Like, he goes from being this guy who should have been fired and is an absolutely awful, awful employee at low-level internship at a hotel where he is doing menial work. Suddenly, he is a manager of a posh resort? How the freak did that happen? He might have known somebody. Yeah, might have. I know, but for me, it was like... How... It was a, just a believability thing of... Yeah. How did this guy just suddenly go from that to this? Mm. So that, that too is another dis yeah. disconnect for yeah, me. Absolutely. Um, but overall, let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, what should be the next Sujit Sarkar? Yes. Yeah. Sujit, Sujit, Sujit Sarkar? Oh, he did Galabo Satabo as well. Oh. Okay. Even, yeah. That, that film I know we didn't really get really um, because I remember walking out. I, thought, I think we thought it was a comedy. Is essentially or at least had yeah. huge aspects that should have been. Yeah. yeah, and I think people did tell us that the subtitles were terrible on that. But yeah, I, yeah, he does. I, that's apparently a very uh, common outside of Pink. I guess Pink wasn't that subtle. No, Pink wasn't that subtle. Piku obviously was Piku very was subtle. Piku was more subtle. Oh, he was director of Madras Cafe, Cafe yeah. which is um, um, John Abraham, uh, Vicky Donner. Mm. I haven't seen that. Uh, well, did I'm, he direct the other of those? Because I know. Um, uh, What's his name? The, the lead. Um, Ayushman. He did like a series of these types of films. Like mm -hmm. um, Badaiho and a couple other ones. But okay. 
No. So he's a pretty established director. Yeah. But let us know what the next film of his that we should watch and let us know in the comments down below what you thought about this film. Yep. <laughs>